puppies. Good deal. Hey everyone, I am working in the back of my Forerunner today trying to get my, um, well the back door latch wasn't releasing, so I'm trying to get that fixed so it will release and open all the time. And then I also have the rear view window will not roll up and down, so I'm going to see what I can do, figure that out, if I can get that fixed or not today also. Okay, so the first thing I've done is gone ahead and remove the back cover of the back end here, the window motor and all that stuff and I found that it was really kind of difficult to get the bottom to release it they've got these little holes you know these plugs pop in there to hold it on and so I found that if you take your little paint can opener and just run it along the edge and just kind of pull it actually pulled all the clips out of these little holders really easily then it got it looks like the clip the holders themselves pulled out on these ones so just a little tr quick trick use one of these guys to get these off a lot easier all right and once I got all that off um, I went inside here to see where the release mechanism is set that aside okay and right here is where the latch that's what should be pulled to release the latch this wire here if you follow that wire down back in here, behind this protective sleeve, you see in here, you can actually pull on this right here by hand. Oh my goodness, sorry, I tried to get you to see it. That will open the door for you if you need to get in. If you're ever completely stuck shut and you can't get out, find that little release and it'll open the door for you. Again, to the catch here. I thought the last time I had tried to open it and failed and I heard this kind of a popping noise I thought something had broken in here so I was looking to see what I'd have to replace but everything actually is in pretty good I mean it's in great, great shape it works just fine so so just monkeying with it a little bit and now it works <laughs> so it's probably the easiest fix I've ever done I like that I don't know why it was having such a hard time we'd have to kind of yank on the handle pull on it pull on it pull on it pull on it for 10, 15 times and finally it would pop and it would actually open. Um, maybe somebody knows more about that than I do and can leave me a comment. But as far as what I figured out, I got in here and played around. Just moved things a little bit. And this wire, the cover on it's a little bit damaged from the last release going into it, but there's no damage to the wires. Which, yeah, no problems in there. So, Anyway, that's got the latch fixed. Now, as far as the rear view window goes, it does not roll down or up. Um, the lady who sold this to me did say she backed it into a dumpster, and that's when it stopped working. So this little thing is cracked here. I don't know if that's part of it. You really can't tell it got backed into anything from the outside. So I'm, I've gone through looking at the wiring again. Um, I guess Toyotas are pretty notor no notorious. We're having grounding wire issues being the problem, but I've gone through everything I can see so far and I don't see any issues with any wiring. So I'm going to keep digging into that and see what I can come up with. So I found this clip was unconnected for the window, so I pretty clicked that on. I went and pulled the window, tried the window, and it went down. Just didn't go down where it should have. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm gonna probably figure out how to get it up and just leave it alone not use it I'm not sure what's wrong, <laughs> but I don't like that. That's not how it should be Okay, Booger. Down. It's all the way down. It's further down than it should be All right. Well, this was my problem. This was unplugged. However something else happened inside here I'm assuming because as we got the window up this this arm over here slid out of its track on the window so it dropped the window sideways so we got it back in the track raised the window up and heard some crunching noises and this happened got some pretty deep scratches in here so we are just gonna say hey 
back window doesn't work, I just leave it alone because I don't. I'm not gonna pull it apart and try and bend something out today. So anyway, we'll figure out what it is. Maybe one day we'll fix it, but probably not. But for now, the back door latch works, and that's really the critical because I needed to be able to get into the back of the car. So that is a partial weekend project for you. Got the lockers in the container. This is going to be storage for all the random little bits and pieces and parts like nails and screws and I don't know, whatever else needs to go in a little locker. So I did take, I had, there was a lock on every one of these. The combination, I had a little key for those, but two of these I can't get open. And, and I do actually have a master key for all of them as well, and I still can't get these two open. And then I have three of them that the nut on one end is stripped out. I mean, completely stripped, so it's not coming off. It's just turning around in circles. So I've got to figure out how to get three of them off and get these two open. But we're getting closer. Anyway, I'll have a lot of little cubby space now for for all the bits and pieces that just take up space and need a little place on their own. Today we managed to get a few things done. I got the rear hatch on the Forerunner, the latch working so I can open the door, which is very nice. Um, the window going up and down, not gonna work right now, so we're just gonna leave it up. Got some stuff done in the white container as far as getting some storage stuff in there for the tools to start going into. And then I do have a little bit of news. I passed my real estate exam for Arizona, which has been very difficult, so I'm very happy to have gotten past that. that. was really nice to get through that. Thank you for everybody who's given me encouragement and congratulations, I really appreciate it. Okay, so today we got that locker moved over to the other side of the container. We've got a bunch of stuff on shelves still, just kind of as we find it, we're shoving it on shelves for now. Um, I did get the saws in here and more saws over here. And then this cart is going to be Dudley's welding cart. The welder's in this box. Stuff to go with the welder. And then a tool chest he has. Still looks messy and chaotic, but it's coming. Or at least getting the right pieces in the right places, at least. And we'll just keep organizing it and putting these away as we go. And then this hutch will be, like I said it earlier, it'll be going into our bathroom. And we have a big workbench that's going to go right there. So that workbench should be able to put this uh, flatbed underneath the workbench. So. That's what we've gotten done today so far. Um, maybe we'll get done more tomorrow. I didn't get last week's video posted, so I'll probably combine the two. <laughs> Have fun, like, and subscribe. Um, share with whoever you want to. Appreciate your watching. Thanks.